major story we're tracking tonight. The body of a missing insurance investigator is finally found in Fort Mill, right after the prime suspect in the case appeared in court. And tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from the victim's husband. Tony Burbeck reports live from our mobile newsroom tonight from the suspect's insurance company in Dilworth. Tony? Yeah, Dave, I spoke with Sally Rohrbach's husband, Tim, about two and a half hours ago. What he tells me is this. He actually does not want to know all the details of this case until it is completely over, because in his words, knowing is like sheer torture. I don't know why somebody felt that they had to kill my wife to cover up a business transaction. Tim Rohrbach held out hope as long as he could that his wife, Sally, was alive. It ended when investigators found Sally's body Tuesday off Vista Road in York County. Captain Jerry Hoffman says it appears her body had been in the woods for a few days. Not an obvious manner of death, uh, and again, I haven't seen the body, but the um, persons that are working with the body cannot at this point tell me how she died. Hoffman says a call from CMPD led deputies to Rohrbach's body. Sources tell WCNC murder suspect Michael Howell provided some of the information. Police aren't saying what evidence allegedly links Howell to Rohrbach's murder. Rohrbach, a State Department of Insurance auditor, came to Howell's insurance agency last week to look at his books and investigate a complaint. Tim Rohrbach says he doesn't know what that complaint was about because Sally rarely talked about business, was tedious, ethical, and confidential about her work. And tonight we know that the family has not yet made funeral plans. Tim Rohrbach says he wanted to attend Michael Howell's arraignment. Instead, he was too busy working with investigators. We're live now in Charlotte with the Mobile Newsroom. I'm Tony Burbeck. Tony, thanks. The prime suspect in this case.